Good evening, beautiful people. My name is Daksha, and I am your co-host tonight on The Red Corner Show. This evening, I have a young gentleman joining me who is taking South Africa by storm. This 16-year-old is an inventor, avid 4IR enabler, a forex educator, and a humanitarian. Welcome, Suhan Singh. Thank you, Daksha. It's great to be here. So as you all know, I'm Sahan Singh. I'm in grade 11 and I attend St. Dominic's Newcastle year in, uh, year in Newcastle. And yeah, that's all there is to know about me. Great, so tell us a little bit about yourself. We wanna know more. Tell us about your family, um, anything that you'd like to share with us. So, um, I participate in a lot of expos and stuff, but when I get home, it's nice to be around familiar faces and people that you know love me and I love them back. My family is very outgoing and they love challenges. So it um, made us all very competitive and that's a really big part of who I am. I enjoy challenges and I enjoy working to be the best person I can be and improve not only my life, but the lives of others. That's lovely to hear, Sohan. And, you know, you are one of nine South Africans in the top 50 world most inspiring leaders. How did that make you feel? I was ecstatic to be named one of the top 50 most inspiring of the youth is something that I could never have dreamed of. It's, you know, it's beyond my wildest imagination. And I sit and I think, wow, imagine what I've done and I've got myself there. And every time I sit back, I say, I can work harder and I can do more and achieve more and think of everything I've done and how I can get further. And it just brings back to the fact that it's amazing to be one of the top 50 people who are inspiring. And I wouldn't think that of myself because so many other people inspire me and so many of the people there have inspired me. And, you know, that's a top 50 in the world. And I mean, that's such an accomplishment because I'm sure a lot of the youth look up to you. So well done on that. Thank you so much. It's not only me looking up to, um, uh, not a lot of the youth looking up to me, but also me looking up to a lot of our youth. It was amazing to be there and so inspiring to be with so many people. You know, it just broadens your horizon and it makes you realize that you can do so much more in such a small amount of time with so many uh, people who have also done similar things. Exactly. And, you know, I, I was also there um, on the platform as well. And to be surrounded by such like-minded people, it's so amazing. And, you know, you can just feel the good energies and you actually want to do more, like you said. Yes, that's so true. To see all of them there, you realize that you are also capable of these things and you try to work harder and aspire to be like these people. Essentially, they become role models and you try and strive to the goals they have put down for themselves. Definitely, definitely. And so Han, you know, you've received many accolades and awards. Which ones stand out for you? To be nominated and be a recipient of the top 50 most inspiring youth in the world was definitely one of them. It was a dream come true. That and um, participation and re uh, recipients of a few of the International Science Expo Awards is also one of my greatest achievements. And along with that is an International Men of Valor Award, which I really, uh, I pride myself on it because it's something that I've always looked at and I've seen so many people take part in it and I said one day I will be like these people who change the world so for me it's something that's really inspiring and it under it makes me understand that there's so much more I can do and I'm just really proud of that well look we're very proud of you I mean you're 16 years old you've accomplished so much speaking of science please take us through your invention so my invention that I created was an automated uh, robot that was able to not only dispense sanitizer, but simultaneously screen um, people entering the workplace, schools or businesses. So what I did was I designed a robot and I built it out of Lego. 
And what it does is that it utilizes an ultrasonic sensor and an arm to both dispense sanitizer and a thermometer to screen the person. It, de it then takes this information and it's uploaded to a database um, of my own design, which I called the DCAM app, which is a COVID attendance monitor. This information inputs stuff such as names, dates, surnames, your temperature, entry points, and other symptoms of COVID-19. And what this does is that it helps people stay safe during the virus by reducing the amount of manpower that's needed during the screening process. Therefore, the only people that are present are those entering the building and those who are supervising the machine's uh, work process. Essentially, what this does is that it now enables us to protect workers and reduce the amount of people who are needed to screen. The entire process is extremely cheap, um, which will cost around about 500, along with a cell phone with, that can have the CAM app installed. How I designed this was, um, as I was entering my school, I began to see all of the people who are entering, and I realized that the people who are entering weren't only at risk, but also the people who are, uh, the teachers who are screening the students were also at risk. And I began to realize that should one of the teachers get infected, then this could create widespread panic and spread the infection. Mm -hmm. So I said, how can I reduce this? And I came up with the solution and I created my small robot and I coined it the ASSIST, which stands for Automated Safety Sanitizer Dispenser Incorporating Sanitizer and a Thermometer. And I realized that I can save so many lives, not only my own and my family's, but so many more, because I realized that my brother has a kidney deficiency and they said if he gets COVID, then the likelihood of him surviving would be extremely low. And I realized that there were other children who have lost their parents and grandparents and siblings to COVID-19. And this was something I could do to change the world. Yes. Wow. That's absolutely amazing. Well done. Thank you so much. So, Sohan, do you have any businesses who have bought from you? No, no businesses have bought of me as yet, but that's because I haven't painted, uh, patented it yet, as I am still working and finalizing a lot of a few errors and bugs and trying to ultimately make the process cheaper so that it can be non-profit and I won't have to claim anything and I can save more lives. I think, you know, that's such a brilliant idea and you'll be helping so many businesses, um, you know, with less admin of doing it manually. Yes, essentially it uh, um, does away with the paperback system and it can save so uh, uh, costs and also automate the system so that people entering can now be um, seen. So if they get COVID, you are able to find exactly what person entered, what time, and contact the people who have entered at similar times. And essentially, you can save many more lives. Yes, yes, correct. And so Han, tell us, how did you know that inventing um, robots or anything of life of that sort would be a hobby of yours? Um, so when I was small, I'd always, my parents would buy me toy trucks and cars, and I'd always be fascinated with these small things and how they work. So I'd try to dismantle them and land up breaking them. So it was a lot of effort for my parents. So for my 10th birthday, my parents got me a Lego set, and they realized that I was able to build and break and do so much with this, that eventually when I turned 13, they got me a Lego EV3 Mindstorms robot kit. And with that, I designed and built so many different things and entered them into uh, contests such as the World Robotics Olympiad and even um, local science fairs. And then I decided that I shouldn't be only working on projects that can benefit me, but benefit others. And I decided that I'd create something that could do that. So I created the assist and I entered it into our, um, our inter-school um, science fair and I landed up uh, winning. And from there, I went on to enter the ESCOM uh, Science Expo. And from there, I went international. And it was all thanks to my little robot. And I began to say, this is so much that I could do with such small little pieces if I just join them together. And it dawned on me that 
becoming a scientist and changing the world was something that I was passionate about and I wanted to do. And that's how I realized I wanted to become an inventor. Wow, that's amazing. And tell us who inspires you? I draw a lot of inspiration from Elon Musk because he's a futurist and a revolutionary. He's changing the world and he's just making it better. And I realized that if he, one man, could do this, what's stopping me from doing this? And I began to try and mimic his behavior and copy the things he's doing. Obviously, it's not on such a large scale, but to make a small thing that's able to change lives and improve them is something that I want to do, just as he's doing it. That's amazing to look up to him. And you know, Elon is actually from South Africa. So you are the next Elon Musk. Hey. Thank you so much. <laughs> and so Han, where to from here? Um, currently, I hope to just pass my trick and, you know, continue studying and hopefully I can get into university and become a software engineer so I can continue designing and contributing to the fourth industrial revolution and, you know, improve people's lives. Yes, yes, definitely. And do you have any last inspiring words for our youth of today? I have a few inspiring words which are even though you are from a third world country, do not limit yourself to such thinking. Think out of the box and think as if you are from the first world. So continue to inspire and aspire other people and to be like other people so that you can become someone who you are proud of and change the world for the better. Thank you so much for that. And, you know, um, well done to you on all your accomplishments. And, you know, like you said, continue to inspire um, you are definitely inspiring and motivating a lot of youth out there. You know, like I mentioned, how we sat on the top of the 50 world most inspiring leaders. And I mean, there were so many people who inspired us. And you also don't know who you're inspiring in the process. So keep on doing that. And yeah, I mean, it was great chatting to you. Thank you so much. And I look forward Thank you for having me. to seeing you on billboards in newspapers, hearing about your inventions. So well done and continue to inspire people. Thank you so much. I will try to continue. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Suhan Singh, a 16 year old from South Africa in Newcastle. And yes, continue to inspire. Um, if you would like to share your story with us, please email us on redcornershow at gmail.com. Good night.